You see him close to renovation, and the underground moves right in. Finn's gotta be inside. Hope I can be there to see the explosion. It'll change everything. Finn's ran the city for years. After the plaza, we'll take it place. This is taking too long. You're done. Gotta be quicker than that. doesn't know what she's talking about. You're done. Now you're lucky day. 
Sorry. can't ignore us now. Go check on him. I got this one. security they've got. Same kind of barrier they had at Gym Theater. I need to drain the generators. In those shacks. Which are locked and powered down. I need a new power source. Like that giant spinning mobile. to work. Winning the science fair, getting to show off our converter here. We were so proud. <sighs> A 
Underground cash. Vin? Come on. We need to finish this. You and me. She's gotta be with our project. Down that hall. The rocket game. Did I win or did she? Guess it doesn't matter now. Project while we're still young. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, where'd they put us? I've got the museum map on my phone. Our project's in a special exhibit on the top floor. Can't wait to see our names on the little sign, like real scientists. Today, Oscorp Science Center. Tomorrow, every major museum in the world. Howard, you name one. Uh, Leviathan. Love it! I wonder what algae tastes like. Probably kale. Ugh, I hate kale. This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. <laughs> you and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Think underwater living sounds like science fiction? Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow, we could be building beneath the sea. Pass. What, you scared? Of sharks, the dark, tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no for me. The Earth is bigger than you think. 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be the next frontier in human habitation. It's weird to think how little we know about our own planet. Thanks for bringing me. I've never been here before. Gotta love that student discount. This dive suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first pressure-proof diving suit was developed with salvage work in mind. Today, suits such as these are used by salvage workers, scientists, and explorers. Think they'll let me try it on? Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. Can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. Let's go to the main hall. Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. Architectural innovations are the key to human survival on extraterrestrial planets. This model home would protect human inhabitants from the low temperatures on Mars. Check it out. You want a house on Mars? Sure. If I could bring my mics. Audio setup? Sampler? They won't let you take all that. They will if they want good music on Mars. 
Using a shape memory alloy, or memory metal, Oscorp scientists created this prototype of a metal that could change its shape while maintaining integrity. One day, memory metal could be used in many types of machinery, and even in your own home. Whoa, check it out. Metal that changes shape. I like the idea, but it looks kind of basic. Bet it could be improved. This model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars. It's like a whole little community on Mars. System. Needs coffee shops. This community shops. is designed to draw arts. on abundant water and counteract low temperatures, making human life possible on the Red Planet. Museums like this where I grew up. Your parents are looking for you. Ooh, we gotta play. Oh, come on, it's just button mashing. So you admit defeat? Never. Oh, faster! Come on, rocket buddy! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Go, 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 go! Gotcha! Found something I'm better at than you. Not for long. Does not a master make? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Go, 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 go! Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it! Oh, what? Aha, gotta be quick. Thin two miles. Wah, wah. Buddy. No way! That did not just happen! <laughs> Third time's a charm. The museum's gonna close and you'll still be playing that thing. Okay, okay. I'm done. This Oscorp rover adapted from models currently used on the moon, can be operated as a man or unmanned vehicle. Used to carry minerals and find water sources, the Oscorp rover would make exploration possible on Mars. Scans for minerals, carries people across toxic wastelands. What can't it do? Can you imagine driving this thing down fifth? Move, pedestrians. <laughs> popular on Earth, could provide heat and electricity for space stations, shuttles, and extraterrestrial settlements. These Oscorp stickers show how flexible and affordable solar cells can be. Go on, take a sticker. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, shiny? Those are portable adhesive solar panels. Ooh, portable shiny. Space. When's Rick you know, gonna get here? Oh, that's what he just texted. Said he was headed into the subway. So it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours? Basically. Government and privately owned spacecraft explore our planet, solar system, and galaxy. To communicate with them, scientists use radio antennas to send and receive messages across local and interstellar space. Oh, I bet the sound quality on these are dope. Not from space. Um, right around the corner, 
venues like uh do you have tickets for the special exhibit oh um oh yes our project is on display didn't think we needed tickets you do and we're sold out can't let you go upstairs thanks anyway so we need another way in she said there's no more tickets right but see that door the hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator can't just break in we have to they're taking down the exhibit tomorrow and then we'll never see it locked i recognize that kind of lock if you shine a light at it it'll open the flashlights on our phones will work but they won't reach they will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door something reflective It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean change his shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. Did you call Dad back? He's gonna meet us at the restaurant. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. This stuff is crazy. Think it's a meta material? Must be. Wonder if it's using a phononic band cap. That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, oh, man. Oh. Sorry. All good. I still need something reflective. Look how the external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. We could recreate the idea, but with a neural interface. It would overload our central power. Not if we integrated it over the entire mesh from multiple entry points. Hmm. Do you think you can handle it? With enough time and a lot of coffee? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll supply the coffee. Well done, Peter. I couldn't do this without you. We should probably head back to the lab. We've overstayed our lunch break. Oh, Doc, I'm so sorry, but I've got to take the afternoon off. It's an emergency. Again? Peter, is something bigger going on? Perhaps at home? You know you can talk to me about it. Oh, I, I'm fine, but I'm sorry to run out on you again. Not at all. Work will be waiting when you get back. Thanks, Doc. And sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light sensitive lock. Take one. I'll put the sticker on the metal. Let's go. I've got the light. Tell me when the sticker's pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. No one's looking at us yet. Gotta hurry. That was awesome. I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us, seriously. Okay. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. Coming? Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Finn says hi. 
You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay, we'll get a picture. I love you, Dad. Bye. This is it. Our project's in the back. Think they got a converter all hooked up? Otherwise, what's the point? They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. The Oscorp Science Station, positioned at one of two stable Lagrange points between Earth and the Moon, could one day be a permanent home for human scientists and explorers. Man, it'd be so cool to live on a space station. Oscorp's funding the coolest research. Is that your dream job? Oscorp scientist? Nah, can't see myself at a big company. But the R&D would be cool. Nuclear energy is the key to our future as we explore interstellar space. Fuel efficiency and transportation will be vital components in reaching and settling planets at the far reaches of our solar system and beyond. Oscorp nuclear reactor. Rick's working on something that's supposed to make nuclear energy obsolete. Do we get to know what it is? Nope. Roxxon's keeping it super secret. Cultivating agriculture in nutrient-enriched fluids, what we call hydroponics. What are they can grow flowers in space? In space. They're probably more interested in food. Why? You trying to impress someone? I like to be prepared. In case I get a crush on a cute astronaut. <laughs> okay. One of humanity's greatest accomplishments came from the Apollo space program. We reached the moon. Since then, scientists have dreamed of traveling beyond and someday settling our solar system. Lunar module from the Apollo program. Hey, we can name our time capsule after that. How many Apollo missions were there? 16, 17, I think. Apollo 18. I like it. Oh. Our project. You ready to go? Not yet. This engine, used in the Apollo space program, is one of the most powerful inventions that uses liquid fuel. Today, Oscorp is building on that technology to maximize fuel efficiency, making deep space exploration possible. The most powerful single nozzle liquid fuel rocket engine ever made. I'd love to build something like that. I need to get that picture of you and our converter for your dad. Oh, ho, ho, wee! Would you look at that? Genuine award winning scientists. No one told us we were in this special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> hey, huddle up. We need a picture. You gotta be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles. I am not saying that. Yeah. 
This is my favorite museum! to Harlem. Now, before Finn destroys the reactor. <laughs> <laughs> 